You're watching NickBox.com. My name is Nick. And Merry Christmas to my box. Okay, well, Christmas Eve. So I would just like to point out that the beautiful Christmas tree that I have behind me was decorated 100% completely by my lovely wife, who will from now on be known as the Yeti. Matter of fact, she's been doing most of the decorating around here, and I have to say, she's done a good job. But to me, it just doesn't, doesn't quite feel like Christmas. It might also be the fact that I haven't really had a chance to do any Christmas shopping because I'm broke. Well, okay, I'm not broke exactly. I just have to save all my money to fix my car because it looks like I'm just going to have to replace the whole engine. Because for some reason, replacing the whole engine is cheaper than buying the parts to fix the engine I already have. One of the other reasons that I might not quite feel like Christmas quite yet is that I haven't gotten to my Christmas cards. The Yeti has been helping trying to push me to do the Christmas cards and find my list and get everything ready. Matter of fact, she's filled out a few of them already and she's got way better handwriting than I do. And on top of this, she's also not been feeling well. So I, I have to say how much I appreciate the fact that around here it does look a little bit like Christmas. I know Christmas isn't about giving gifts. It's about showing the people in your life that you care for them. But part of that, for me, has always been, you know, buying presents. Which is why I'm really not a big fan of gift cards, because gift cards are kind of like, here is some money! I can't think of who you are enough to buy something for you. But I give you the gift of shopping! And I really, really don't like shopping. Um, unless, of course, I'm shopping for other people. In which case, it's kind of fun when you find that one thing that you're like, ooh, hey, this! This is perfect for so-and-so. But the Yeti and I were talking, and we came up with some good ideas. It's just going to happen after the Christmas, and after the car is fixed. It's going to be a well-timed gift, as well as enjoyed. So today represents the last day of singing for this year. Ah, uh, I'm very happy about that. I mean, I really do love singing, but when you have so much of it to do in such a short amount of time and you really have to focus on learning your parts, it's not easy. Ah, uh, so now it is time to relax. Except now I've got a lot of other projects that I want to work on and I still have to work on my car. Uh, and at some point I should probably think about getting a haircut. I have a lot of friends out there that I met through choir, through singing. Uh, and for you people that might be watching this video right now, I would say to you, you might want to think about doing it again sometime. And if you do, you should check out Soli because our concert season is going to start up at the end of January and we're always looking for some good new folks. Especially you, basses. And of course, we always need more tenors. There will be more information down in the video pants. I think one of the other problems also is the fact that I've been singing Christmas songs since September. So now, it just kind of feels like that's the thing. But I'm sure it will feel more like Christmas tomorrow when it is actually Christmas and I am up at my brother's house having the most wonderful prime rib you have ever had in your life. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year, though I will be seeing you again before the new year is out. And as always, thanks for being awesome.